We'll move over Batman. There is a new queen of Gotham and indeed a new queen of Warner Brothers as Barbie's meteoric ascent up the box office charts continues and it just broke another long-standing hallowed record at the box office. Now, for a long time at the domestic box office, the biggest Warner Brothers hit ever in history was Christopher Nolan's The Dark Knight. Well, that little run, that's that's adorable, Christian Bale. That's adorable, Christopher Nolan. But that little run is now done. As there is a new biggest domestic box office hit in the history of the century-old studio of Warner Brothers, and that is Barbie. The Hollywood Reporter uh, has reported that Barbie has become the biggest Warner Brothers movie ever at the domestic box office, beating out The Dark Knight, which had held that spot for quite a while. And if we go over and take a look at this now, at the domestic box office, The Dark Knight had accumulated $534.9 million, a record that has stood since it came out. But now Barbie has crossed that, as according to The Hard Reporter, it has now made 537.4 and is, of course, still climbing. I want you guys to really appreciate the significance of this. Because I know, listen, we, we've been talking about Barbie a lot, but that's because these all-time really significant box office markers and records are being broken, and you got to talk about it. Warner Brothers, one of the most celebrated, long-standing Hollywood studios in the history of the entertainment business, they now have a new number one domestic box office film of all time. And it's a movie none of us saw coming. That's the really beautiful thing of it, right? Like, I never would have guessed it would do that. But now it's got another target well within range. It is now the queen of the all-time Warner Brothers biggest hits domestically, but now it's closing in on the all-time Warner Brothers worldwide box office charts. Right now, there's only one film in front of it, and that's Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2, which pulled in $1.34 billion at the worldwide box office. As of right now, Barbie is sitting at 1.19. Actually, I believe with the updated thing, it's now at 1.2. So let's go with 1.2. Barbie is sitting at 1.2 billion. It's only got another $134 million to go. It will probably attack and pass that mark at the end of the upcoming weekend. And we are going to have, and we'll talk about it, I'm sure, but we will be having not just a new, you know, king of the hill as far as the domestic box office all time for Warner Brothers but it'll be the all-time worldwide biggest box office. And I want to point something out too. It's accomplishing these numbers in an era when the movie theater industry has still clearly not fully recovered from the pandemic fallout, right? It's happening in an era when a lot of high-profile, quote-unquote, blockbuster films are underperforming. Things like Indiana Jones, things like A Fast and the Furious, things like Mission Impossible are to a degree underperforming in a market that is still not fully recovered from the pandemic era. And it is within this context that Barbie is passing these all-time records. And once it does pass Harry Potter, it'll be in the number 17 or 16 all-time box office films. And then it only has one target left. And that's a little freaking Italian plumber <laughs> named Mario. And that's it. Then once it passes Mario, it'll be the number one box office film of the year. Uh, it'll get into the top 15 of the biggest box office uh, hits in the history of Hollywood. But as of today, it's passing the Dark Knight. And I, I read a comment on, on our YouTube channel last night of somebody just bemoaning this. Saying, I don't want to live in a world where pe more people want to go see Barbie than the... I uh, uh, said, whatever. Movie... Movie box office records are made to be broken and all this kind of stuff, and, and it'll happen. But this, listen, I would have easily, Ray, if you had made a hot toy bet with me three months ago and said, I will bet you that Barbie will make over a billion dollars. It'll become the biggest Warner Brothers film of all time, all that kind of stuff, and I'll bet you five hot toys. I would have taken that bet, and I would have been wrong. You and I had a hot been toy. you a lot of hot toys. My, Ray, mind, my mind was on Mutant Mayhem too much. Yeah, I, and I Billion, don't even the Billion about, Dollar Beetle. Yeah. That, that, Mutant Mayhem and the Billion Dollar Beetle. Yeah, yeah. Billion Dollar Beetle, baby. Maybe we all should have paid more attention to Barbie in the early days <laughs> leading up to it. 
Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's video, Rocket Money. Did you know that the average person has around 12 paid subscriptions and they might not even remember to subscribing to half of those? If you have no idea just how much you're spending each month, you need Rocket Money. It's this great app that tracks all of your expenses so you know exactly where your money is going. I recently just found out that over 80% of people have subscriptions that they've completely forgotten about. Seriously, think about how many free trials you subscribe to that you just probably never canceled. And that's why I'm such a big fan of Rocket Money because I was one of those people. When I signed up to Rocket Money, I was stunned to find out that a gym I had belonged to in another city I lived in, I had still been paying my dues to for over two years. Also, that music subscription service I use, yeah, I forgot I was subscribed to two other ones. That's where Rocket Money comes in because Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. With over 3 million users and counting, Rocket Money customers have saved on average of $720 a year. So stop wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions and manage your money the easy way by going to rocketmoney.com slash campia. That's rocketmoney.com slash campia. Rocketmoney.com slash campia. Anyway, guys, again, I know there's been a lot of talk about Barbie lately, but this is super significant. This is historic. This is a really incredible feat that it's accomplished. Anyway, guys, what do you think about this? Are you just as stunned as me as we now have Barbie as in the history of Warner Brothers, their biggest hit domestically that they've ever had in the history of their studio, that pretty soon is going to cross a Harry Potter to become the biggest worldwide hit in the history of the studio, that is going to become probably, I mean, it's still possible it doesn't catch Mario Brothers, it's but over, it's, man. Probable. Yeah, it's, over. it's probable. It's probable. It's probable at this way. point. I, I don't know which of those things surprises you the most. Maybe you saw this coming. Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, thanks for watching our video. Make sure you like and subscribe, but also we have a daily podcast called the John Campia Show Podcast available on your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and find it, the John Campia Show Podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your preferred podcasting app.